everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Way back in 2014, we put this awesome bow tie quilt in Block Magazine, but I realized that we'd never actually done a video on it. Plus, we wanted to make some corrections for the pattern and all that, so what we thought we would bring it back today and show you the new and improved bow tie party. So take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? So I love tiny quick blocks, and I love how just by turning a block, you get a whole new design, and I'll show you how to do that. So to make this quilt, you're gonna need two rolls of two and a half inch strips. Actually, you just need 64 strips. We actually had to stop because it was getting <laughs> too big for our filming area right here. But we used Idaho Prairie Star by Kim Deal for uh, Henry Glass. You're gonna need one roll of two and a half inch strips for your background, and that's all gonna be cut in to two and a half inch squares. And I, uh, if you don't wanna use the roll, you can get these little pre-cuts that are already two and a half inch squares as well, which I love those. Um, you're gonna need about three quarters of a yard for this inner border right here. It's a little two and a half inch border. Our outer border out here is a nice big six inch border out here, and it is um, one and three quarter yards. Our backing, isn't that a pretty backing? Love seeing the quilting patterns too. That's loops and swirls. Our backing is five and three quarter yards. And so it's just a, a really nice quilt. It comes out 79 by 95 the way we've laid it out. So this is one of those where you can have fun with the layout. You can have fun with the number of blocks that you make. You know that um, you're going to get a pretty good quilt for, your, for the fabric you're using. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to take one of our strips and you're going to do this to all your strips. And um, I have this one right here, and I'm just going to leave it folded. And out of each strip, you'll get 10 two and a half inch squares and 10 one and a half inch squares. You need two of each to make a block. So I'm going to cut two two and a halves right here like this. And you can see I've already cut some on this strip. And so obviously I'm not going to get 10 out of this strip. But when you're looking at your big 40 inch strip, just leave it folded in half and cut 10 twos and 10 one and a halves. Now, when you're ready to cut your one and a halves, you can actually do a little one and a half inch strip like this and flip that around and make sure it's just a one and a half inch square like this. Or you can go ahead and trim the whole rest of your, of your strip to one and a half and then just you know, all the way along it. So you wanna keep these together in sets with two of your two and a half inch squares and two of your one and a half inch squares together. And when you're ready to make your block, we're just gonna take uh, two of our two and a half inch background squares, and we're gonna take our two little tiny one and a half inch squares, and we're gonna put them in one corner of the square like this. So we're just gonna lay those in a corner. It doesn't matter which corner because you'll be able to turn them how you want them. And if you want, you can draw a line side to side. When you're dealing with tinier pieces, sometimes it's better to draw that line. So we'll just draw a line on here. Sometimes when you're dealing with smaller pieces, it's a more, little more important to be accurate. This is just one little corner. And honestly, <laughs> if it were me, I'd probably just zoom from one side to the other. But we're gonna, we're gonna show you right here. All right, so now I have my little line drawn across and you can bring your pieces over here. And you can just sew corner to corner on that little line. And we're just gonna sew here. And one more. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna trim these edges right here. Just trim it off about a quarter of an inch. You can do that with your rotary cutter and your ruler or you can do it with your scissors like I'm doing it. Just quick and easy. And then we're gonna press these back. I'm gonna move this right here. And then I'm just gonna iron these back. Now, you can set your seam. Somebody mentioned in a comment that I was forgetting to set my seams. And I do, I get in such a rush to show you guys this new cool thing that I do forget that sometimes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them and iron them back. So once you get your pieces all ironed nice and flat, this goes together just like a four patch. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna put our blocks out here and I'm just gonna press these so they lay a little better. I think I, they got cut on the fold. And we're gonna put these two like this and we're going to put this one so it points in so your little triangles point in like this and this block is here like this and so then we're just going to take this block over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew down this side and down this side now this is this is one of those things where if you're cutting your two and a half inch squares if your cutting is accurate 
then this, because sometimes when we sew, like maybe this gets, this little corner might get a little bit wonky, but your two and a half inch square can act as your pattern to straighten things back up. So that's just a little tip that I use to make sure that things kind of stay lined up. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and sew. Wait a minute, I gotta make sure I got these going the right way. Yes, I do. Whew, check twice. You don't wanna pin, you don't wanna pick out, I mean. All right, so we're sewing down the side of this one. All right, so we're gonna sew down this side, then we're gonna sew down this side. And then we're gonna put them back together and it's just as easy as sewing a four patch, really. All right, so here's this side and I finger press that. And I've got this one, I finger press that as well. And see how that goes together like that and it just makes the cutest little bow tie. So let me sew these together. You want that center seam to nest up. So we're gonna start, take a few anchoring stitches. Then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna feel that seam to make sure there's no room in between. And just so, so those seams nest really nice and tight together. And then we're gonna press it. We're gonna check. Oh, I did pretty good. All right, here we go. We're gonna press this out. All right, so now I've got this pressed out. I've got a little hanger over here, so I'm just gonna kind of straighten this little edge up a little bit. Your block should measure four and a half, so let's check that. We are pretty close. I'm gonna actually put this on my half mark here. I just have a little tiny corner I'm gonna trim. I'm gonna turn it, check it again. So here's our cute little bow tie. Isn't that darling? And I just love, uh, I love how quickly they go together and how easy they are and how sweet they look. Now, we're gonna put these together in blocks of 16 and you need 20 of those blocks. So I have one started here and I have three rows on here and I have a few made. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them on here so they're all going the same direction, like this. And we're gonna put in a whole row. So I have this, these two already sewn together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew these two together and then I'm gonna sew these two to these two to make a whole row. And then we'll attach that row to the square and I'll show you how this square works. Because it looks a little harder than that on the, on the quilt, doesn't it? All right, so now I'm just gonna make sure my seams are lined up. Go ahead and sew this over. I'm gonna make sure they're all going the same direction. All your blocks need to go exactly the same direction. We are gonna make sure this seam is lined up. That center seam is your key. That keeps all your blocks square. You just wanna make sure that center seam is lined up really nice. We're gonna press this nice and flat. All right, now we're ready to add this onto the bottom. Of my, um, of my block right here. So four rows of four is 16. And the nice thing about sewing these little patches together is that every two and a half inches, there's a seam that intersects. So it keeps it nice and straight. And you wanna make sure those line up. So if you tend to wanna be a pinner, you would pin at every one of these junctions to make sure that your little seams line up. And that way your, your blocks will stay nice and square. So sometimes if your seams aren't exactly perfect, they aren't exactly a quarter of an inch, you might have a little bit of room in there. What you wanna do is just go slow and kind of ease that in because you want your block to stay square. So you want those little lines to match up. So I'm gonna press this bottom one here so I can show you the lines. And you can see here that, you know, we're matching up at every little junction. And so that makes your block stay really nice. Now, the fun part of putting this quilt together is this is super easy. They're all going the same direction. We're making 20 of these blocks, but let me show you what happens up here in the quilt because we're just gonna rotate the block to get these different things that happen in here. And so that makes it really fun. So here's our block right here. So you can see how that fits in here. When you put four of these together, this one is turned and then this one is turned like this, and then this one is turned. Do you see how easy that is? 
And so it's the same. So we have, we have there are 16s. We have one, two, three, four across the top, and one, two, three, four, five of these blocks down. So that makes 20 blocks. And just like that, you've finished your quilt. We put a little two and a half inch border around it, a little six inch border. Again, we get a, get a pretty good size quilt. So this is a great classic quilt. It's super easy to make. It looks much harder than it is. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Bowtie Party from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.